Okay, we're going to evaluate a couple integrals here using the geometric interpretation of the definite integral. So interpreting it as an area. So uh, let's, we, we should start by graphing each of these functions. So here, uh, if we're going to find the integral of sine x, we should graph sine x. Uh, so we might remember sine x looks like this on one cycle with a period of 2 pi. So if we're going to find the integral from 0 to 2 pi under this curve, we're finding this here, right? The de this definite integral corresponds with these uh, quantities. But you might remember that the definite integral is a signed area. And so whatever this area is will count as a positive quantity. The definite integral will be positive there. And here, because the function values are negative, when we multiply that width times that height, we're going to get a negative, uh, negative quantity here. And because the sine function is symmetric, this positive amount is going to be the same as this negative amount, well, opposite of. And so uh, when we combine the two together, the net area, the net signed area here, is going to be zero. All right. So now let's look at this one. So we're finding the definite integral from 0 to 4 of the absolute value of x minus 1. So if we sketch the absolute value of x minus 1, that's an absolute value function shifted to the right by 1. So we can sketch that in here. And let's see here, when x is 0, y is 1. When x is 4, y would be 3. And we're trying to find the definite integral here, which would correspond from 0 to 4, which would correspond to this area. In this case, it's all above the x-axis, so it's going to count as a positive quantity. And in this case, we can interpret this as two triangles. So we could say that this uh, piece of area is 1 by 1. So it has area 1 half base times height, because it's a triangle. So area of 1 half. Here, uh, we have a width of 3 and a height of 3 as well. So the area of this triangular piece is 1 by 3 by 3, or in other words, 9 halves, uh, giving us a combined area of 10 halves or 5. So the area under this curve, this definite integral, will be 5. 